Hello, and welcome, once again, to Enigmas Attempts to Program, and, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, we have to figure out what is going on, so, like, what is this guy even doing, man, he's got, he's got his mesh, it came from who knows where, he sets the mesh, right, to his chunk component. Alright, this seems like this is what we need to get to, right? This is what we need to get to. If I can get a chunk component to spawn uh, with some tiles on it, then that would be good. Yes? Yes. Alright, great. So, what are we doing? So we've basically already gone through, and I'm not sure about all this multiple looping this guy's got going on in his stuff and things, but that's okay. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go through here. We got we got a handle to our map. Yeah, you know, how many maps do we have? Every time we get a new map, I guess right. That's the asset that's being created here is a map. So uh, then we insert changed maps into our uh, changed maps gizmo here into our hash set or the handle to our changed map. And now what? And now, well, our map has changed. Well, what does that mean? That means that we have to do something or other with it to make the things happy. Right? Like what? Oh, goodness. Who knows? So, let's, uh, let's figure some stuff out, right? So at some point, like, it's kind of like, there's some sort of remove list and some other stuff. And who knows what's happening here? And, yeah, we got our, we got our new meshes in Changed maps you remove there. Alright, so how do we like what do we do with the remove? Who knows? So um, get some new maps. We gotta do like uh or a mesh in the maps. And what does this guy do? Like, alright, so what are we even doing? So we need to get some new meshes up in here? And this is based on what? On our changed maps, maybe. So let's let's double check what this guy did, right? So he established some sort of a. We've got some new meshes here. It's like all right. Now for each changed map, yeah, we are going to what? Uh, get a get a get a handle on the actual changed map, basically, right? Because what changed map here should be a. It's like a handle to a map, right? It's not really a, uh... yeah, it's a handle to a map. So, so here in changed map, we've got a handle to a map. So it's not a real map, it's just a handle to a map. And we're like, maps. What is maps again? Maps should be, yes, it's, the, it's our uh, resource mutable assets map. So it seems like it's from here that we'd be like, and we can we can trade in our handle, in this case the changed map, right? And we can get a map out of it. Cool, and that gets us our struct that we defined up here. Okay, that's gonna get us an instance of donde esta? There we go. It's our our little map guy. Right, where well, we've got some tile size, maybe some map width, some chunks. We weren't entirely sure what we needed, so we just kind of like, eh, punted, you know, figured it out. Here's some, here's some things. Right now, we know that for in our example case, we have a chunk that we want to try to render him. Right, that's kind of the deal. And we'll and we'll try to get it working for more and more general cases, more stuff and things. Right, right, all right, so. Uh, so that, so that was our map, and he's got our map has chunks. Okay. This guy, when he does stuff with map, what's he even doing? All right, so he's trying to get some sort of materials, right? For each, basically, what materials map? All right, and some sort of a query he did. And what is this? And this query is like, we want all of these things. So, so we want. So for every component, every entity that has all of these things, he's asking for just for this one, I think. Right? So that's our, that's our materials map, 
That's what he's naming it here. Which, materials map? I don't know that I need a materials map. Right? Because then, then what does he do? Then for each tile set, and his map.map.tile sets, which again, we don't we only have like the one tile set. Right? Just the one. And then we, okay, great. So for, for each of them, he says, uh, all right. If materials map does not contain the key for tile set, right? For tile set first GID. Tile set first GID. What on earth is this? Uh, it's a, like, I guess it's like a GUID, right? But it's a, but he, they called it a JID, maybe. That's some sort of an ID, it looks like, right? Uh, some general ID, <laughs> globally, you know, I don't know. Global ID, right? First, first JID. And then, uh, what? He's trying to get some texture paths and some other stuff. And it's like, yo, dude, we, we already loaded all, all up our textures, man. We already loaded them up. We got them, we got them here inside of our, uh, what do you call them? We got, we got them here inside of our texture atlas. Our texture atlas has got this, man. It's got it. All right. So now that we know that we have our texture atlas, so we don't need to do too, too much here because this seems to be all about what? Yeah, he's loading up textures for the tile sets, right? And making sure that they're all, that they're all good to go, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I, I've already got a, I've already got a texture atlas. Let's just, let's use our texture atlas. All right. All right, cool. So now what? So I think we could basically ignore this. Because the end result of this was to insert stuff into our materials map. What were we inserting? We were inserting some sort of tile set first GID. That's apparently the key, right? Into some sort of a, yeah, materials.add texture handle into. That's like, woof. All right. So I don't think we need to worry about any of this. Next, he does something with meshes, right? So he's got some map.meshes, which we determined he produced somehow from the tiled, when he did tiled loading. So you might want to figure out like how to generate some meshes. A little confused about that, but I'll figure it out. All right, so. And what does he do? He says, uh, for, for each mesh, right, and the meshes, right, that we're draining, we're draining all of the meshes, okay. And we say what? We say let handle, we get our handle from meshes.at. So we're adding to our resource of meshes. So we've got, we've got meshes, meshes here. These are resmute assets. I've got mesh, right? And then when we get a handle to it. So we're going to add them to our resmute. And then what? It says, if the new meshes... Have we done anything with new meshes yet? No, we declared it up here, right? I don't think we did anything else with it. Nope. All right. When you say, hey, any new meshes? If, uh... If you already contain the key for changed map, Right? Then what? Then we could say new meshes dot, you know, then we're going to get it. We're going to get changed. Then we're going to get the changed map, right? Get new changed map. There's our mesh list somehow. Then we say mesh list. All right, and this is, that's because this is a hash map. All right? A hash map of what? This is a hash map of these map handles to a list. Of, uh, what do you call it? And we only have one map. We're only dealing with one map, aren't we? No, not right now. No, no, this is like, this is some weird system that, like, does all of the maps for some reason. So, and maybe that's what we want. Maybe it's what we don't want. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to we're gonna have to do some research later on of every rendering and figure it out. Yeah, because right now we're just, we're just trying to render one map, you know? 
just trying to render one map. And that's it. So, what do we got here then? All right, so, all right, so for our map, all right, and we say mesh list. Now that we have our mesh list, which is this vector that was up here, right? We're going to push mesh.0, mesh.1 handle. So this must be this uh, U32, U32 handle. All right. What is mesh.0 and mesh.1? I don't know. What's the mesh? So... See mesh being defined somewhere? Mesh, mesh. Yeah, it's for mesh. Yes, this is for all of the meshes in the map. And map.meshes. Yes. Why are we doing why is he doing it so inefficiently? It seems wrong. I mean, like he's already we're already working on the same changed map, right? And you've got this crazy thing here where it's like you could have just built up this mesh list and pushed it, right? Like what? If 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 uh if, if new meshes does not contain the key for changed map, which it won't on the first run, right? That's this is when it makes it. And you're like, okay. And then what? And we say mesh list dot push. Right? Which, yeah, this makes sense, right? We, we we have a new list. Let's push our item to the list. And then what? And we say new meshes, insert, changed map. Right? So here's our here's our map handle. Right. This is a loop inside of here. You could have just built up the we could have just built up the list and then added the list into the thing once, right? I'm a little confused by this. I don't know why he's doing it this way. It seems convoluted and not efficient. But I don't know. I could be. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what the kids are doing these days. I just, uh, you know, I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. So, so what's the point of this? I don't even know, man. All right. So we have meshes in our map. Yes. Okay. For each mesh in that's already in our map. Uh-huh. Push it. Right, and hand yeah. Push it. This is meshes dot add mesh two. And this is our handle map. From mesh dot two. What the hell is all this mesh? Man, what is it? What is going on here? What is map dot meshes? That's gonna be uh yeah, it's this. So yeah, so the third one is a mesh. Of course, the third one's a mesh. Yeah, I'm so I'm just like I don't. What on earth is this guy doing? This doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. Just if I make it bigger. Will it make more sense? <laughs> all right, let's um try that approach of making it bigger. I'm hoping that that helps it to make more sense. Oh man, yeah. Let's get that music going. What are we going to do, man? We got, we got some stuff and things to figure out. We got some stuff and things to try to do here. I don't even know what we're doing. Alright, so yeah. So, for each of these guys... Why are, we re -add why are we adding it all to a new list? It was already in a list. Right? Yeah, here's the list of VEC of U32, U32 Handle Mesh. Right? And what's... What was in map to begin with? Ooh, a mesh and not a handle mesh. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? That... that we're, we're doing some weird conversion between mesh and handle mesh. Which is fair. It's like, okay. I know why you would. Right? 
All right, what, what is it about? It's about being able to put the mesh, put the actual mesh inside of meshes. What is meshes? It's our res mute. So if anything, you should say like, you know, meshes resource, right? Mesh, I don't know, resource container, res container, assets. Right, because these are all assets, assets, events, right? I, I, I assume this res mute stuff, that's like a resource, right? So if I so if I come in here, yeah, this is a unique borrow of a resource. Alright. So we're we're borrowing resources. That's what this is. And this is a mutable borrow of a resource. What is the resource that we are borrowing? We are borrowing assets which stores assets of a given type and tracks changes to them, right? So it's all really fun and good. We can, we can track them changes, right? So when we say like, when we use meshes to, when we, when we come in here and we're like, yo meshes, so that's the uh, that's the resume, right? Yeah, it's our it's our res borrow thing. We can add the second mesh. This is the resource. This is the tracked thing, and we can get a handle back, right? And then, so we're basically you know we're adding stuff to meshes, which is an important side effect of basically converting ourselves from. What is this? This crazy uh, U32, U32 mesh to a U32, U32 handle mesh. That's what we're doing. Alright, so that's that's what that is about. Yes? Yes. Uh, double checking back here in my uh, stuff of things. Make sure people aren't shouting at me for to, for to answer questions again. Like apparently someone may have been for the... Uh, tail end of our last stream make sure everybody's happy. all right Check. oh there we go yeah just uh clear that out good to go those things what else are we looking at oh all right Play more, play even more music. Oops. Play all the music we're looking to do. All right, so cool. What we got? All right, all the essential communications are handled. Everything is good to go. All right, all right. So we've got. All right. So the whole point of this is that he loaded a map from a from a file, right? From tiled. And as a part of the load process, he created a variety of meshes. But apparently as a part of that load process, he didn't just go ahead and throw it into some sort of a mesh resource thing. Right? No. He just held on to it inside of his map struct or whatever, right? Inside of, yeah, inside of his map struct. To do what? To add, to add it here. And where is here? This is, we are processing loaded tile maps. That's, that's one of our things too, man. We don't, we're not trying, we're not trying to load nothing. We're not trying to do nothing. So I think that we don't need. Man, there's like. It's like, even if you wanted to have this new meshes thing, this isn't how we go about doing it. Right? I don't think we care about a lot of the stuff that's going going on in here. So the whole point of this here, right, was to insert, like, this stuff into his materials map. Right? 
so where, where did materials map come from again? It's, it's this guy from the query, right? Yeah, so we did a query of materials map. Right? Here it is, right here. It's part of our query, right? And then what? He's like, oh, this, this map changed, so we have to go into materials map. Right? And if materials map doesn't contain stuff, Alright, then we'll then we'll add the stuff it didn't contain to it. Alright, and so it'll only ever get bigger, it'll never get smaller. So we'll not it never checks for the things that like, you know that are in here, but aren't in, you know, uh I don't know, somewhere else, right? <laughs> that aren't in here. In this tile sets. So that's a little bit of a leak there, I guess. It's fine. It's there now. Hmm. What do we do with all these meshes? Ah. Good point. So now we. So if we. So as so soon as we have new meshes, now. All right. So once we're out of this loop of like, do stuff with all of the changed maps. And we're basically just going to rerun our query. Right? Because this is the same exact query that was RAM here. The last time we were only interested in the materials map, and it was mutable. Here, we're not interested in mutating the materials map, I guess. And we're interested in more of everything else. Alright. Seems that we're never interested in entity, so I'm not 100% sure why that's part of the query. Uh, maybe he was getting other things that weren't entities somehow that had all of those components. I don't know. Uh, that doesn't make any sense either, does it? Nope. Alright. So he's got some weird center thing. Yep, yeah, he's got some weird map handle. He's got some materials. He has an origin. All right. And so we'll st we still probably want this exact sort of thing. Right. For now, perhaps. Man, so he's got some new meshes. And these are all of the new meshes for every map. All right. All of the new meshes for every map. Hmm. So we say what? If new meshes contains this map, then we do stuff. Otherwise, I guess we don't. This is where I like the continue key, right? It's like, yeah, if it didn't contain it, just go away. Like just, we're, we're done. All right, that's also what filter is for in kind of a uh, functional sort of a sense, right? So, what are we going to do? Yeah? I think that um, we're kind of just going to be like, whatever, dude. And then like... He wants a vector of new meshes. So I'm not even sure why. Okay. Okay. I think I get something here. Okay. So... I don't think we want... this. And I don't think we want... a color material. I don't think we want our map to have any sort of weird meshes. Right? I don't know. And I don't want our... What are, you, what are you guys even doing? What are you doing? Do I have any weird meshes anywhere? Mesh. I've got some... I've got, I've got a handle too much here. Okay. Chunk components needs a mesh. But that's a guy who really needs meshes. We really need 
uh, this kind of resource borrow thing of assets match. We really do need that. Uh, this, hmm, I don't, hmm. So here's what we're gonna do. So we 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 have established our changed map. You know, right? And now we've got our map here. Got our map here. Good job. All right. And now what do we want to do? We don't want to say for mesh and map meshes. No. Here we want to generate our meshes for the first time. All right. So that's that's what we want to do. I think. Now, how many meshes do we generate? This guy, like, just... He, he, he does stuff for every mesh, right? It's crazy. He does stuff for every mesh. But right now, we've got, you know... I'm not sure how well we're handling any of these cases. Yeah, this, a lot of this stuff don't make... A lot of sense to me at the moment. It's okay. We know that we can detect when things are created, modified, or removed. That this seems to work. All right, and and the whole point of this guy then seems to be we we have detected a change amongst the maps. Ah, reflects the state somewhere. All right. Okay. Great. So that's what we're doing. We have to reflect it somewhere. Right. This is all about like, yo, man. Our uh, let's see who is uh, who's calling this guy? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. I'm used to just, yeah, I knew there was a usage somewhere. All right, so we got some sort of system and we're adding it. And this is about our assets, right? So you know, I think these things are kind of are kind of independenty, but kind of same because they they happen to correlate with one another. But the you know the, these the functions themselves are like they're different. And it's like app builder, app builder, returning the app builder. Here we go. We got some app builder resources. We're gonna throw some stuff in there, et cetera, et cetera. Right? All right. And then what? We, so we added our Vox tile graph, and, and we added now we have to add our process Vox stuff and things. Because this is where some magic is supposed to happen. So what is the magic that is going to happen? We need to have... We need to, at some point in this, spawn a chunk. And the chunk is going to have a mesh. Alright, so this chunk... So this chunk that we spawn, it has a mesh. We have to generate this mesh somehow. Okay, so this is our chunk mesh list. Well, where did our chunk mesh list come from? Well, it came from this mesh list. Which we iterate on, and we filter on, and we collect. Where did mesh list come from? <laughs> so that's not, that's not it. Right there. So where is our mesh list? Here we are. And this is what? This is new meshes. Tell me all about them new meshes. Okay. That's what we're doing. So... That's new meshes get mutable map handle. What is new meshes that you can get a mutable map handle? map hand then unwrap that oh, what, is, what is new meshes new meshes if yeah if new meshes contains this that's our that's our this is, that's our new meshes up here ah and are these things new in any way shape or form hmm you know, it's like... Gosh, this is so weird. I can't imagine how this guy thinks. This is like... I'm not trying to be mean to no one. You know, he's, he did some good work. He made a plug-in thing. He got it working. He got it going. 
he knows what's going on more than I do, right? I'm the I'm the noob, like kind of puzzled this out, but it's just like, man, it's just like this just seems so unnecessarily hard. What is mesh? It's the third thing inside of this chunk mesh list. Right, a new entity per chunk. I get it, that's fine, right? Chunk mesh list is a mesh list. Uh, right, is mesh list. Um. This just filters stuff based on the mesh layer and the tile set GUID. See, here it says GUID, not just GID. Alright, so I thought it was a GUID. Alright, so there we go. So we got some, so we got our tile set ID. We have a mesh layer ID. I don't, I don't care about any of this stuff. Man. We have a material handle. Alright, which we get from, from, from some stuff. We collect these things. All right, fine. But where did where did mesh list come from again? I don't care about any of that nonsense. Is equal to new meshes. Get mute. Map handle. But now we know these, uh, but now we know these ints are at least, these U32s, right? It's apparently the mesh layer ID and the tile set GUID. That's what it is. Alright, let me collect them all. Alright, and then what? And we've got some material handle. What? It's equal to materials map. All right? For tile set layer, tile set goo. Huh? Wow. All right. So, and then what? And that gives you some sort of a materials. All right. So, materials map. .get. Where did our materials map go, right? So that's part of this query, isn't it? Yeah, so that right there is our key, our integer key. But we're getting back this color material. Alright. So, yeah. Um... Material. But how do we generate these color materials in the first place, right? Oh yeah. Double check. Keep the keep, keep the folks at work happy. Yep, saw that. Got something that's compiling right now. Just make my set the connection in. Okay. There you go.
Sorry for delay and streaming and stuff. Keeping work folks happy. All right. So we've got, uh, what? We've got some tile sets up in here and some other stuff. These material maps. Color materials. Man. Man. All right. So let's just, let's think about some stuff. We need to be able to make a mesh, singular mesh, that supports our chunk, our our tiled map chunk. That's the idea here. That's what we're going with, I think, right? Let's just check out his loader for some inspiration. Let's see if we can't uh, get something good from here, yeah? Oops. China. There we go. So in this in this here, you should be trying to read from a tiled stuff, right? He's got like those, those are thirty-two by thirty-two tile chunk sizes. Hey, how about that? That's what uh, that's what we assumed our chunk size would be. Hang on, yeah, that's good enough right now to run. I want to buy you next time I see Lately Rock. Uh. Huh. Yeah. Provide the thing. Okay. Um, yeah, how about that? Service. That's the thing that told it, the trait that implemented the thing that I... It's just sort of it, right? Cool. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. That's the phone. I have a module. Too. Yeah, when I looked at that, I was like, what the F is this to? After it's marinated, I see. Okay. Hmm. Just a uh, transformer. Framework. And I think cool. Cool, cool. All right, great. Ah. Alright, yeah. Work people are getting by, figuring out how to make things happen. Good. Alright, so. Uh, doop doop ba doop ba doop doop ba doop doop. Somewhere in here we build a mesh. Alright. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go back out to normal size here so I can get more of a. Yeah, alright. This right here is a chunk tile, huh? Okay, tiles Y. Push chunk tile. What's tiles Y? Oh no. That's crazy. We got tile X, which is a thing from zero to uh, target chunk X. See, and he's doing 32 by 32 tiles as well. So. I was hoping I was on to like a reasonable sort of a length when I, it was my chunk size. Apparently, some other folks appear to agree that that is indeed something or other, right? Oh, that's a... I'm going to bring you up to the top since you're like a constant sort of like little dude. Bring you up to um, top of what? Top of here, right? Oh. Yeah, just bring, bring you up to the top. I'm going to get this compiling again. So we can uh, make some forward progress, right? That's sort of the idea. Let's we shall to make forward progress. Yes. And what is maps? Are you mad at maps right now? Maps help a local variable with a similar name exists. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're playing with maps now. All right. Just that's all there is to that. Oh, we don't we don't do defaults for maps. Oh, well, okay, there's three components here, right? Right. Three components there. All right, good. So where's where's my back button? Oh, no. All right, so there we go. That looks good. Yeah. You don't need anything else for that, do we? Nah. All right, so, control nine. All right, what else we got? Alright, so we got some sort of function or associated item not found. Alright. Hmm. Did I like mess something up here? I, don't, I got all these colons. Do I have all them colons? All right, let's, uh, woo! Yeah, let's just sort of come in here now and be like, yo, dude, what's up? All right, cause we got things. Meant to just be like a copy-paste it. Whoa, Figure it out. I have a mesh here. And this is from our... What is this? Yeah, mesh.rs, right? Cool. 
We have meshes. We have the meshes. Alright, so. Wait, control 9? Yeah, control 9. It's just not associated. It's not found it. It's STD collections? Dude. I don't get this. Why can't I move that up? How's that making sense? New into new time? What are you talking about me. I don't know. How's that different? Anything. It don't make no sense, man. All right, yeah, we're gonna say default. I think that's how we. That's how we're gonna use our new hasher. All right, now we're just now we're just into back into warning town. Fine, okay. We're just at warnings, then we can run it supposedly. Oh, after it's done building, because it hasn't actually building yet. That's fine. And check us out. We can uh, we can run our thing. We get a black screen. Very cool. No big errors anywhere. Looking good. We're not using our new meshes yet. Why? We have to develop them. Do something with them. We have to generate some sort of meshes. So we need a mesh per chunk. That's the deal. Okay. So how do we develop a mesh? Alright, look at this guy, right? He's got chunks. Chunks X and chunks Y and... We've got some let mute tile. Alright, and then we're like, what? What For each tile, X and zero. Uh, chunk X, right? Target chunk X. <laughs> Alright, so for each tile, right? Then what? So we get tile X, we get tile Y. That's kind of weird, right? So we have this tiles vec, right? Isn't tell us what type of thing we're expected to store here. We have a tiles Y. Alright, so then what? And then I guess at the end here, what? You push the chunk tile into tiles Y. And then you push tiles Y into tiles. Right? And then what? And then we can let chunk equal this guy with these tiles. Oh, I've already got tiles in my chunks. I need a mesh. <laughs> Where's the mesh builder part of this? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this thing is messing with me. Alright. Meshes. Here we go. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? All right, so here we have meshes. Like what? For each layer, it looks like, right? Sure. For, for yeah, for, for 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 each layer, which has a tile set layer. <laughs> so for each tile set layer in the layer, we look. At, we then look at each chunk. I'm guessing yes. Chunk. Let chunk x equals chunk. Great. I just have the one chunk, man. I have the one chunk. That's why I make a mesh for my chunk. That's it. And then we've got, uh, okay. So now we've, uh, okay. We can let the things. All right. This is getting to something. This is getting to maybe a thing. All right. Because then what? Because then what? Inside of each four tile in the, your chunk tiles, right? 
Jeez, this is this is why I stuck with the, this is why I stuck with a single array. This stuff right here. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me? All right. What? So for each tile in it. Yeah, I agree. That on us all. Um. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Whoa! DM21 Constellation is raiding with a party of 24. Thank you very much for the raid, DM21 and crew. Uh, what, what were you guys streaming? You guys having fun over there at the DM21 channel? Let's see, let me, uh, let me back out of some stuff I was looking at. I head over into my area. Okay, NMS, yeah. Raiding with the No Man's Sky. Horny dump, you know how it goes. Yeah, they take they, they can take a while sometimes, from what I hear. And not normally until 2 p.m. though. <laughs> uh four hours at least. Oh man. Alright, well it's good having you all here. Uh this isn't quite as riveting probably of a stream as say No Man's Sky is. I'm just uh trying to figure out how to I don't know, code again? I don't know. What am I doing? I'm trying to make I'm trying to make meshes. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make meshes. And then what do I do with the meshes? I don't know. Hopefully we can render the mesh somewhere. And that's kind of the idea. It seems like all of this stuff here, I'm hoping boils down into a single mesh. And uh what are we boiling down? 32 by 32 tiles of various tile types. Yeah, so uh, so that is pretty cool. But you know, I get some coding done. We're trying to have some fun with things. Uh, trying not to take things too too serious. Uh, right now, I've got a I've got a very impressive black screen when I run the program. So you know, very impressive, very cool. And I've got a, but hey, there's a, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, no, no runtime errors. So there you go. That's, uh, it's rendering when it's supposed to render, which at the moment is nothing. <laughs> All right. So I don't, I don't think we need any of this nonsense up in here. This guy who is doing this, man, I don't, I don't know. He, he has, he has got, he's got layers within layers and all sorts of stuff. I don't need any of that. I just need some new meshes. And what is this? This is per map. All right. So we already have a map in here. We're already looking at, our, at maps. What is our map again? We have um, this guy over here. He's got maybe some tile size. He's got some map width. He's got some chunks. And I think that for our current scenario, we are basically just trying to get like the simplest map we can get up and working with walls and floors and that's it and we're basically you know the whole map should be bounded by walls which thinking about it you probably won't even get to see the top and the south wall well if it renders correctly anyways so we're just seeing what we can see doing what we can do trying to figure some stuff out all right, it's time for me to go back now, I think, into my mapping function. Where what? Where I am going to try to generate a mesh. We need to do this for every chunk, looks like. So we got our map from there, so now let us do something like what? For each, uh, for chunk in map.chunks. Okay, something like that, and then maybe, um, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let mutable positions. Okay, right, we're just gonna, we're gonna new up, new up one of them. I could probably just, oh, I don't know what you're doing, cut it out. All right, there we go. Copy that, because we need to let mute normals. Right, equal the same thing and let mute. What do we got here? UV. Equal to the same thing. We have let mute 
indices. Indices. Right? We want that to be vector. Cool. Just for now. Now what are we doing here? We're, we're gonna loop through our tiles, I think, is the idea here. Uh at least that's uh that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing here from this sort of like example where I don't know Bevy man. You know, this this guy here, he made a neato plugin that does something similar-ish to what I want to do. So I'm just kind of like stealing from wherever I can to figure out how to how to do some new stuff and things. Alright. So uh, yeah, so it looks like for each tile in this, we're gonna we're gonna get some we're gonna do some things. That's good. It looks like we need uh, we need probably an X value, a Y value, that sort of thing, right? Because uh, yeah, tile vertex X, right? Tile vertex Y, sure. So I don't know why it's doing all that when we could have just we're inside of our chunk now, right? Right. So we should be able to say something like. For x in zero to chunk size, for y in zero to chunk size. Cool, right? Now what? We can do some. We can start doing some things here. So we're gonna say positions dot push. What are we pushing? Uh, let's see here. He's got some sort of an array, maybe, of position. Okay. Well, that just kind of looks like that's tile vertex X and tile vertex Y. I'm not 100% sure what these values ought to be. But for now, we're just going to go with our X, our Y, and uh, what, a zero dot? Sure. And I think that these guys here are probably going to be floats. That's sort of the thing, right? So when it says vertex, does it mean like, does it want some floating point number? Kind of what I'm trying to figure out here. So we've got a, uh, like, okay, the one F32 over, you know what I mean? That sort of a thing. Hmm, I don't know. Let's uh let's uh let's let's do that then. So we're gonna say um what? Uh hmm. You can like let vertex, right, is equal to some sort of like a vec two. We can get a new one of them going where we basically want one F thirty two over X as an F thirty two. Come on. Same thing over here, but we're gonna say Y instead as F32. Vertex stuff, we got X. Alright, so now we can do the same sort of thing, right? Where we can say vertex dot X. Yes, that looks like that's what we want. And then we can say vertex dot Y. And kind of hope that that's what we were looking for. That I'm really not a hundred percent sure. All right, so hmm, we can uh, so we could figure out what these values should be kind of as we go, right? It's not really the point is to get everything one hundred percent correct now. The idea is to just like you know get something that kind of works and make it so it really works, right? So that's that's what we're doing. Zero dot comma. And I think that's what we want there. Yep, normals. That looks good. So now we can say UVs. I know that these ones are definitely going to be kind of the. Oh, which? What do I want for vertices here, man? Is this like X and Y? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we were fine with where we were at. UVs definitely seems like that's what we want. You know? Oh, the UV for the tile is going to change based on what the tile type is. Right. 
Right, okay. So, we need to actually map that to our texture atlas. Yeah, we need to map that to our texture atlas. Where did our texture atlas go? Did we got one of those still? Let's see, yeah, this guy here looks like a texture atlas. I want, I want one of those. Alright, so how do I get one? Uh, let's see, we were doing some stuff in here. We got some changed maps and stuff. Huh. Huh. Yeah, for now, we can we can just play around and we can make it like um uh right. We could just make wrong and not care for now, right? Yeah. So what do we want for now? UVs bush. This is just for the first sort of uh, just for the first point, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Vertex W. Oh. All right. I got some. I got some figuring out to do. All right. Where he got these sorts of UVs from, and everything else. All right. So the normals look good, at least. Yeah, the normals look good. But for now, let's just for our UVs, we can keep them pretty much the same and not worry for them. Right, so we want to push basically an array of two coordinates, right? Uh, yeah, UVX and UW. Fine. Wow. All right. Um, X plus Y plus one. This is All right. Let's come up in here. Let's go ahead and keep the same sort of thing here going. That way, we know basically, like, ah, oh, this is this is where we're at. This is what needs to be done. Yeah, we can come here. Yeah, sure. Y plus one, and then we want something that's like what X plus one, and then Y plus. One, right? And then we want uh, X plus one, and that's going to help us to stay on track with what it is that we're doing. And for, but for now, yeah, we can just just kind of play around with this guy here, right? So what do we want? We could just say. Uh, zero. Zero. There's just two of them? Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave the... So this is basically the top left corner, let's say, right? So we're just going to leave that at zero, zero. Alright. And then what? And then we can go to our stuff here. We can hit that up. And we can say, like, what? Uh, vertex, so Y plus one. Thank you for the follow, I'm assuming? I'm looking at some documentation right now. So, yes, the Swingin' Snake has followed me. Thank you very much for the follows. Appreciate it. All right. So, yeah, but we're gonna... I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's in my chat. You can just look at my chat. I can see the Swingin' Snake has indeed followed me all right so for now yeah we'll just we'll just do like some super naive thing that definitely won't work and we're just going to assume that we're we're good somewhere all right so this right here is yeah so we did our plus one there for our uv push i wanted you to now be one dot over 32 dot or uh hey what am i looking for I'm looking for chunk size as f32 is really what that is. Alright. And this is going to help to get us the first the thing in the top left corner. So these are the assets that we are working with. So everything should look like a floor, basically, when we're, uh, when we get something to kind of render. Which will be different than, say, you know, black, which is what's currently being rendered. Uh, so the nothingness. So we're going to go from blue to nothing. Or the other way. 
Yeah, from, from absolutely nothing to blue. Do, do, ba -do, do, do, ba -do. Let's see here. Don't stare too hard at the nothing. Well, sometimes, you know, it's hard to tell if there's something or if there is nothing. So you can only stare. You can only stare. Does this chunk size as an F32? And then I want the basically the same sort of thing for the second one here. Everything should look like a floor if we get this correct. You know, if, if we've understood our UVs correctly. I might not have. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. Woo! A little sneezy. Sneezy. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. All right, so yeah, let's uh, all right, so now we've got uh, we got we've got that guy going, we got that guy going, cool. This one's plus one, that one's plus one. All the normals are all the same because it's all 2D and it's all facing up, so that's fine. So now we're, we want the X plus one, but not the Y plus one. So then the same thing here where this becomes zero dot, zero dot. All right, cool. Now that I have all of that. Yes, let us uh, let mute but new indice. Going to be equal to some vec bang. What do we got here? I, oops, I plus zero, I plus two, and I plus one. Am I doing this right? I don't know, man. I'm just going to copy paste. Yeah, you know, it's the type of uh, stuff that's easy to get wrong. All right, cool. Now, what's I? I don't know. That's a good question. I might want to figure out what an I is. Or we just say that we're happy with what we've got going here. All right, we should still, we should still like call in that. And then we know to do an I plus plus. No, I plus equals Four, apparently. Ooh, but what is I? I'm going to be set that. Ooh, right outside of our... Um, right outside of the for each tiles. Right? Yeah, so now, so now we can say let mute I equal to zero. Alright. And that is going to get us our new indice whatnot. What can we do with them? Well, we can take a look at our indices and we can append, ah, append, right at mute new indices. All right. Why, why are we doing all that, man? All right. That's fine. That's fine. We got some three lines there. Let's get care of that. And then what? After what? Positions dot length. If positions dot length is greater than zero, which is uh, right here in the sort of uh, little place I'm looking at here, right? So our for loop here. We say if positions dot length is greater than zero. I don't see how it couldn't be greater than. Zero. But okay, but we can say, uh, yeah, so here's where we create the mesh. And then all we have to do is push the mesh. Mesh is dot push. And again, I'm not, I don't, I don't care about this layer or tile set or nothing, man. Here, I'm not, just the mesh, please. That's all I want to put. So that's what we'll do. That is, yeah, all right. And that's outside, that should be outside of our, our, our chunk handle. Handle our chunks. All right, and then what? We could say um, that mesh is equal to mesh. Hmm. Yeah, we want to semicolon that guy. And what? We want to say what? Primitive topology. Primitive topology triangle list. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Then we can say attribute. Beck bang. And what? Vertex attribute. Position. Right? With our positions. Sweet. Alright, let's get to keep it going. With our normal. And we want to give that normals. Alright. Oh, we got some vertex attribute. And UV. Right? For our UVs. Alright. Um, cut that out there. Indices is equal to sum indices. Alright. Russ loves that trailing column, so we give it the trailing column. And then here we could say mesh is, which apparently we weren't using before, but now we are. Yes, alright, now we can say mesh is dot push. Okay, and what are we pushing? Our mesh. And this should provide us with some sort of a handle, I think. Yeah, buy us with our handle. So for each of our chunks, yeah. All right. So now what? So now I want to have some sort of a. Um, we've got our map here. We need to have our uh, chunk meshes. I think right. And that's going to be equal to a Beck. No. Yeah, I'm going to say Vec new. All right. Well, what type of Vec are we going for? I think we want to have like a Vec of handle ash. So then the idea is that for then for each chunk. That we, you know, we put in here. Did we even use the chunk? Not right now, I don't think. That's kind of weird. Hmm. That's a good point. Yes. So what's happening here is eventually what we will do is we will use the chunk, right, to look up the tile that we are on to then get the correct UV coordinates. Okay, but right now, I think I'm more interested in getting some other stuff working. Alright, that's sort of like, I'm just going to let that guy go. I'm going to say for underscore chunk. And what? Chunk meshes. Yes, we need to add the stuff that we just did to our chunk meshes. Alright, so we, we already have meshes.push mesh, but that gives us a handle. Right, we needed to actually push the handle to our chunk mesh. And chunk meshes is indeed a handle. Excellent. That is what we wanted. And now we can say chunk meshes dot push. Maybe. Assuming that's how we put stuff into it. Maybe not. Maybe we say a pin. Right? Ah, there we go. What's your malfunction? Oh, it's not mutable. My bad. Here you go. It's mutable now. All right. Let mute chunk meshes is equal to that guy. And then we what? We finish that up, and then what? Because what we we're looking to do then really was to do what? After we were done with each of our chunks, happens where? Where's the uh, where's the trails? All right, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, and then we can say what? We can say new meshes dot. Now, this is a hash map, right? So we should just be able to like put. How many, how many things have you been inserting into hash maps now? You've forgotten how to do it. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, see, that's our. That's our mutable reference to map. What is this guy? This is a this is a reference to our handle of map. So we're going to insert what is this changed map? 
All right, we're going to insert a changed map. We're going to be hoping to get back with our changed map. We are hoping to get back. No, no, we're inserting. We're inserting. What are we inserting? We're inserting chunk meshes. Meshes of us we are inserting. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Hey. Wow, I've got some. I've got some meshes. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we've got... So we have some meshes. And we put it in there. That all looks... That all looks pretty good. So... So that's good. So now we have a new... So now we have all of our new meshes. So what are we going to do with all of our new meshes? Woo! Woo! All right. <laughs> oh, we got a... All right, so that was that was fun. So we'll have to figure that we'll have to figure out how to do that properly. I I uh, I'm just taking a stab at, at things to get some meshes going. But now we have some meshes. So how do we? What are we gonna do with them? All right, now that we have our meshes, so this guy's all like, "Yeah, give me all the stuff from the query, please." And it's like, "All right, we can we can do something." Similar-ish. That's not the same-ish, because our, our query is different. Alright, so we're gonna do we're gonna say four. So that's the same so far, but we're gonna go ahead and skip over it to say what in. And, uh, see uh, mutable reference to query dot lighter. And we're gonna loop, yeah, we're gonna loop through that guy. Alright. Now we can uh, hit Shift F6 to go home and make that not start with an underscore. And now what? We know that we have a map, a texture atlas, and a transform. Right? So we have a map, a uh, you know, texture atlas, atlas, and a transform. All right. Cool. Uh, I don't know, man. He calls his he calls this transform origin for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so we've got uh, we've got some entities. I don't know. Maybe origin is more correct. Please. Oh. We've got yeah. That's a handle. So this is actually a handle to a map and a handle to a texture. It's not actually either of those things. So, uh, handle. Alright, so that's our handle to our texture atlas. And this is a handle. H N D L to our map. Or, maybe better yet. Let's just. Oh, there we go. Oh, so we got some handles up in there. Handles. Sweet. Alright, can't look. Now we're gonna say if new meshes contain key. Half ah, handle. I'm not gonna worry about that. No? No. Because we assume that it does, right? No. No, we don't. Because uh, there could be multiple maps. Right now there isn't, we know that, and that's fine, but there could be multiple maps. So we're gonna say if new meshes dot contains key for our map handle all right that's when that's when we do this that's when we do the magic so let's see if i can't like i don't know continue all right that i could do like a filter right uh Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's still just mad about. Oh, that seems a lot happier. Sweet. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we could uh, maybe do some filtering on our uh, queries to make that less. 
kind of uh, ick, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Well, we're good to go. So we've got uh, we got some new meshes. All right, so yeah, so everything else is, yep. All right. Now we say let map is equal to map dot get via our map handle, right? And we're just going to assume that it works and unwrap. Sweet, all right, that's what, that's what we're gonna do. So, and uh, translation, so let's see. If center, I'm not going to worry about center dot zeros or map translations. Yeah. Mesh list. Sure. Mesh list. We're going to get ourselves a mesh list from our what? From our new meshes. We're going to get a mute. A bowl. What? And then we're going to use our map handle. Right? And we're going to unwrap. All right. So now, we're, now we have our our uh, mesh list again which uh hopefully yes this so this right here is a mutable reference to our vector of mesh handles oh sweet so that's uh that's kind of what we were hoping to be playing with at this point that's so we're, we're doing good doing good let's see what else what's next this is a bit of a marathon to try to get stuff working yeah that's fine it's a part of part of the coding experience about that marathon all right now you just keep going till you get something now we've got our mesh list now it looks like so i don't have i don't got no layer id or layers i don't have any map layers i don't have any tile set layers oops i don't have, I don't have any of that bs to worry about at all so let material handle is equal to materials so i'm not sure if we need materials no i don't know that we do we already have a texture atlas for this thing don't we yeah we already have a handle for our texture atlas handle right well, let's play with let's play with our texture atlas handle let's do that i don't i don't know what this material handle is man i don't know what it is so, uh, yeah. All right. So let chunk mesh list. All right. I'm not worried about that filter there either. We're collecting the things. What did we want? Chunk mesh list. <sighs> Equal to mesh list. What's a mesh list? Do we already have one of those? Yeah, here's our mesh list. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, he used a filter, which we don't need a filter. Chunk mesh list. This is our chunk. Our mesh list is our chunk mesh list, as far as I can tell. He just collects. He just does a filter. He, he iterates through mesh list. He filters on it and he collects it back into a vector. We already have a vector of handle meshes. Well, we need. Okay. So now then, for mesh, right? Because we don't have any nonsense. Now I could say mesh list dot iter. Let me get me an iterable. Just an iter. Uh, let's see here. All ready? Command F6. Get rid of that. All right. We are now going to spawn. What are we spawning, guys? We're going to spawn a chunk component. Mm, there we go. Semicolon there. So we have a chunk. We have a tile map. I've got no chunk components. Do I not have chunk components? I do have chunk components. Oh. Um, okay. Fine. 
What's in my chunk of pumpkin? A vox child, a vox tile chunk. <laughs> That's what we need. We need, we need a vox tile chunk. Why do we need one of those? I don't know. To be honest, I don't think we do. I think that was uh, some nonsense. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. And uh, it's okay, because we'll just we'll remove it probably. Yeah, let's just. It doesn't make any sense to us right now, so let's just remove it, sort of thing. I think is what I want to do. Right, so where, where am I at now? I wasn't under map for a long time. I'm somewhere else. All right. So let's just... It's just like, eh, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Then we can get rid of our... Yeah, we just... We just get rid of it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, yeah, we don't... You don't need to, you don't, you don't need to worry about that. No, I don't all right, cool. So, oh, got rid of maybe a useless thing. We'll see, right? And now what? Now we need some sort of a material, right? But we already have our text. We already have this guy, right? So what sort of a so what's our texture atlas handle, right? Because like, we're going from a, this guy to a color material, and we might be breaking some stuff. Right, because he's all like, I need, I need a color material. That's what he wants. So if I have a handle to this guy, what can I do with him? Uh, can I get anything interesting from a handle? I don't even, I don't even know, man. I just want. Let's see, as handle, as sock, borrow, clone. What is this? get? Maybe like some sort of get reference or something. Oh man. How, how have I been getting it? How have I been getting my handles? Right. Get hatch. I don't know nothing about no get hatch, right? I think we have to say like. Right, so we're gonna we're, I want some sort of like uh, let something or rather is equal to the texture. Mess with me, man. What do we got here? Materials? We've got, yeah, we got, I have a handle to a texture atlas. Right, so how do I get the real texture atlas out of it? I think we do, we did something in Maine a while back. Just that. Right, where we're like, yeah, give me some of that texture atlas stuff, you things. And yeah, see textures dot get texture handle. Right? And then we can get ourselves a texture. Right? Yeah, so which is really a I don't think that's what we want. No? Yeah. yeah. I have a texture atlas handle. I think we need a texture atlases if we don't have one of these already. All right, inside of that main. All right. So there's our texture atlases. All right. So now we've got texture atlases. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, dot get and give it the handle, right? Yeah. Get. And then we can give it our... What is this? Our texture atlas handle. All right. And this is going to provide our texture... Atlas. There we go. Get some texture atlas up in there. Now, 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 we have to do something with this material. So now that we have this texture atlas, what did we? What was this material anyway? Does it want a handle? Right. Probably wants a handle to stuff. Must. <laughs> yeah, right now it wants a handle to something called a 
color material. Which, look at that, has this optional sort of handle. Yeah, so we can give it a handle to a texture. Look at that, right? So, excellent. So I know how to get that. I know, I think I know what to do. Alright, so we want a color material, right? We have a texture atlas. Right? So if I said, hey, texture atlas, what do you got for, what do you got for stuff? So I know that we were playing around with you inside of Maine, right? Where we have, hey, here's our texture atlas, and it's from this grid, and we've got ourselves a texture atlas handle after we added it to our texture atlases and things. And uh, what is, what is this? Ah. All right, so yeah, so what do we do? What do we do with this guy? Anything? We just throw him in there. All right, cool, and then what? And then we have a texture atlas handle, which we give it to stuff that we like. Oh, okay, and then what? I don't know. All right, so let's figure out what we can do with a texture atlas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's got, he's got some sort of a, he's got some sort of texture in there. Yeah, look at him. He's got, a, he's got a size. He's got some other stuff and things. Sweet. He has, he can have multiple texture handles, it looks like. Uh, he's got a, he can have a hash map of texture handle to you signs. Interesting. All right. Uh, that'll, that's kind of interesting. We might want to look at that, right? So, yeah, we've, we've got his texture right here. We can play around with that, see what happens. All to do what? To create our color, our color thing, right? Yeah, we've got to make a, we got to make a color thing. It's called a color, color material. It really wants a color material. I don't know why. All right. So. In order to make a color material. He doesn't even want... He wants a handle to a color material, too. Hmm. All right. So... Hmm. Tell you what, for now, here's I think here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna get rid of Texture Atlas. Yeah, I think we're going to get rid of Texture Atlas. I think it's fine. Alright, that's not that's not what we want. I think we want a handle to a color material. Alright, and how do we get one? Uh, we want a handle to our what? To our color material, and that's all. That's all that we want, right there. Boom. Right. I don't think we need any of these. Uh, I don't think we need this guy here. No. I think that you know maybe maybe we do want this materials. I'm not 100 sure. Right. What are we gonna do? So we have this color. We're just gonna be handing it in, right? And this is according to what? According to what we did in Maine here, right? So, al so already in Maine, we were like, hey, let's do some stuff things. What are we doing, man? I don't know. Hang on. Right? No? Is this a... Yeah, handle, map. All right. Yes, here we are. Here we are. This is what we want. Alright, so we've we started calling it what now? Here's this. But what do we need to change? We need to come up in here and we need to change this. To say like, I don't know, material. Right? No, we need a handle to a color material. Okay? I think that's what we want. What's your malfunction? Wrong well, types of arguments. No, I don't think so. All right, good. Good to go. Good to go. So now we've we've destroyed all of the things, right? <laughs> so we have our uh, we have ourselves a material here, right? And yeah, we can give it some sort of a 
default handle. That's that's good for that. Now, now, yeah, it's coming here. What? You're not mad at nothing, are you? No, that's that's a fake error right there. So there's a. All right, what we got here. We got some sort of material. We've got some sort of material hand. You know, hand. H H N D A. Yeah. All right. Now we have our material handle, and we could just say. Material handle. And I think we're good there, right? Yeah. Like, ta-da! We did it. What is what is your malfunction now? Okay. Probably maybe we need to go fix our query. I'm not interested in these chunks anymore. All right. I'm not interested in you right now. What are we interested in? Yeah. There we go. That looks good. I expected a handle color material. But you provided me some reference to a handle color material. What? Are you kidding me right now, man? Are you kidding me right now? Tell you what, we're just gonna say dot plum. And then we're gonna hope that you're better now. Alright. There, that looks good. Now we can say mesh. Is equal to our mesh dot clone, and then what do we want? We could say uh, transform is equal to transform but from translation. What have we been translating? I don't know. We should probably figure it out. Translation. I don't think I have a translation defined in here at the moment, and. But that's fine, right? So we're just going to fill out the rest of this. Don't put the trailer in the comment. After default, we found that one out. Right, that's pretty sweet. Oh, where did, where did, seriously though, where did translation come from? I'm just sort of looking over here at my, uh, at my stuff and things, right? I got this translation. How do we find it? Uh, what do we got here? Origin translation. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna say zero. Our default or something, right? We don't I don't care, man. There. Boom, there we go. We're just gonna spawn a chunk. We're gonna spawn a chunk component. It's all gonna work out really well. Alright, so what we have map. Or did we need map for anything? Nothing to do with the origin. That was it. That was all we needed the map for. Oh, and we're not we're not using any sort of origin from the map. Nope. We're not using anything from the map yet. That's fine. So now now we're gonna hit control not and see what breaks. Because I imagine a lot of things will suddenly break. Right? So he's like, he's a little mad, because he's like Dude, I was totally expecting some sort of material here, and you did not deliver. So then it's like, oh, sorry, man. I guess I'll, I'll figure it out, right? And then, and then what? I want some sort of, like, oof. Uh, mute materials, right? And I want this to be some sort of a res mute. Oh, what do I want here? I want some assets. I want a other material. There we go. That'll, that'll help us out, okay? Because then what? What can we do? We can say, let's color material, right? Is equal to what? We want to have, yeah, just give me a color material, please. But from what? From, yeah, we want to give some sort of a handle to a texture, which, what do you know it? We have a texture right there. That we can give it. And then we can say, I want like a color material. Be back soon. That's cool. That's cool, Wolfie. Yeah. That is cool. I'm fine with that. So what did you want? Is it, are you mad? Is this not... Okay, so this expected a handle to my texture. Which is fine. Because you know what? I can give it that too. Super easy, barely inconvenience. All right, so now, so now I have this materials that I think I want to like add 
our color material into, and this is going to help give us our what? Our... Yeah, okay, this right here is our color material. We want to let color material now handle is equal to this guy. Now that we've done all that, we should be able to come in here and I want to use that color material handler, please. All right. A similar name. All right. Yes. Uh, okay. Underscore. Get rid of that. Boom. Okay. Control 9. We got this, you guys. We got this. Woo! All right. So now what? Uh, no implementation for F32 plus integer. No, not F32 plus integer. Okay, guys, I, I just, we're going to add some dots, and, and, and they won't be integers any, anymore. And then, uh, and then maybe it'll, maybe it'll compile. All right, dot, escape. All right, and then what? Anything else? Ah, oh, save, nine. All right. Woo, what do we got here? No method name push. What? New method name push for found for struct resmute all of the stuff and things. Huh. What have I been using? Add? Fine. Add. Whatever, man. Just. Yes. Yes, this is what we want. Add. Now what? I expected a mutable reference, but I found something that was not a mutable reference. What? But to meshes? Is meshes not mutable? Is that your problem? Meshes is mutable. Right? What's what's your problem? What do you what do you want? I want to append. Alright, want, want to append something? Yeah, some something, right? All right, all right, all right. What is, what is going on here? Let's say let mute blurp is equal to, there we go. Now I want to say quay up in here. Cool, good to go, right? Now what? You're mad. Okay, I expected a mutable reference. Oh, I'm a little confused. Hang on, hang on. What's, what's expecting stuff? The for loop isn't expecting. What is chunk meshes? Chunk meshes is a vector to handle meshes. Right. What is this? This is a handle mesh. Right. Um. <laughs> no? What? I'm a little confused now. I was doing so well. All right. What? You know what this is? It's a it's a vector of handle meshes. Cool. What is Quay at this moment in time? How about that? It's a handle mesh. Handle mesh. All right, where am I in this loop? All right, let's go back to the load and figure out like, all right, buddy, what what is what is going on here? I know that you added stuff to a thing too, and I'm a little like, hmm, why doesn't that work? Push layer, push stuff, right? Have meshes, yes, right after the meshes, and we're supposed to be able to put meshes down. And what? This is mesh. Confused. Our chunk meshes. Which is a vector of handle meshes. So I think I need to go back to the... And come back to our uh, map guy here. 
be like, yo, dude, when you were pushing these handle mashes, what was up with that, man? Cause this guy's being weird, man. All right. All right, the handle is equal to that, right? And your handle should be the same thing as a handle mesh. Hmm. Yeah. Mesh list that put. I don't get it. I don't get it. This one here should be like our mesh HNDL, I think, right? And then we come in here and I say, yes, I want. I'd like to add a mesh handle to this. Then this guy's all like, I'm all mad and stuff because I expected something insane. What? What, a mutable reference to a vector of them? But you are the mutable. I don't get it, man. I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, whatever. Like, like I don't even know it. Okay, I don't even know. Like what? I don't get it, man. What do you think chunk meshes meshes is? What is? What do you think insert tip? Nobody knows what insert tip. Okay, new meshes insert. Chunk meshes. What is going on here? What is new meshes? New meshes is our hash map of new meshes. Okay. Right? Yes. So he is a vector. He wants a vector of handles of meshes. Yes. Which is why I made a vector called Chunk Meshes, right here. I don't know, function. Oh. Right? And then what? And then we append it. Chunk Meshes is a vector of handle mesh. This is a handle mesh. Append the handle mesh. Mm. Let me insert chunk meshes. I don't get it, man. Expected a mutable reference. Found a handle. I expected a struct. No, you did not expect a vec. What is wrong with you? This doesn't make any sense. Chunk meshes is a vec. Right? Of what? of handle, right, and mesh. That's it, that's what this guy is. Oh my gosh, what on earth? Sort of like, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. What is... It could be that I'm just an idiot. You used the wrong verb. 
All right, cool, excellent. I'm just gonna use the wrong verb. I have no idea what I'm doing. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. I can't move chunks. Uh, what? Cannot move out of map dot chunks. What are you trying to move stuff out of map dot chunks for? Oh my goodness. This move occurs because of stuff. It does not have any sort of a copy trait. What? Alright. What is going on here, man? Or chunk in chunks, right? You should just be a vec. Right. Just a vec. So well, I don't I don't wanna move nothing, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Just leave me alone. Just add a reference in there. Boom. Look at that. You compile now. Maybe. Why does it compile now? Nobody knows. All right. Cool. Let's just grab this guy. I don't, I don't need that no more. Let's just grab, what? This texture handle, dude? Yeah, I guess we don't need that anymore. Our texture atlases. Right? Hmm. All right. Yeah, unused texture now. That doesn't make any sense. I thought I... Nope. We need... All right, that's fine. What else? Texture atlases is unused. All right, that's fine. All right, we're just going to clean up a little bit of warnings and stuff. Kind of comment out the stuff that it thinks we're not using. See how that goes. Sort of a thing, right? And then what? Variable does not need to be mutable. I know, man. That's what I was telling them. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. Try that again. Yes. All right. Now what? You don't you don't need this transform. All right, fine then. Don't use a transform. I don't care. I don't care about no transforms. Why do I have a transform? I don't know. We're supposed to get one from somewhere. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to get one from somewhere. What were we supposed to do with it? I don't know. What was this guy doing with Origin? I don't know. Um. Right. Right. That makes sense. Well, let's uh, let's come in here then. We can say transform, right? Then we want like a transform dot, like what from translation. And then what? We can say transform dot. Oh, massive! What is it? Translation. There we go. Got it. And control nine. Just trying to draw a chunk of stuff and the UV coordinates will likely be very wrong. A bunch of other stuff will likely be very wrong because we have no idea how to make meshes. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's hit play. Boom! <laughs> and it blew up. Kaboom! Alright, well that was fun. That was, uh... <sighs> Oh my goodness, Thread Main panicked at render pipeline output formats and sample counts do not match the render pass attachment formats. Wow, okay, let's um. All right, well we decided to go back to color materials at some point rather than a texture atlas. So maybe there's still something to to play with around that, right? Where we're we're not quite sure what we're doing. So let's uh so I'm gonna double we're gonna double check it now our pipeline code. See how well that should be. So yes, we have our ridiculous handle for no apparent reason. I need to figure out like what is this and why is it there? And obviously I should change it with some other random string of numbers, I guess, right? And um Maybe, maybe there's a way to generate one and then, like, you just stick it in there. I don't know. I think the idea is, like, you know, some attempt at, like, a 
GUID or something for your handle for for your pipelines or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we've got some shaders. We've got our pipeline descriptor. This looks good. Front face. PCW call mode black zero zero false right here. Right now we're onto the depth full descriptor. We have a texture format depth thirty two float. So maybe that seems like the sort of thing where it's like, hmm, Sam, you know, render pipeline output formats and sample counts do not match something or other, right? Maybe. Maybe it could be something to do with that, but I'm not sure. So we've got our depth 32 floats, depth right enabled true, depth compare, function less equal, stencil state descriptors, ignore, ignore, all that. Fine and good. You know what? We never did anything with color states. Apparently. <laughs> so that's probably a thing right there. So let's figure that out. So we've got format, texture format. Here we go. B, G, R, A. What do we want here? Eight. U norm. S, R. S, R, G, B. So that's quite the, it's quite the format there, huh? All right. So now we have some color. What am I doing? I'm missing something. This isn't, we don't just go straight into stuff. No, we have to say color state descriptor. Open curly on that guy. Close curly over there with a come on, just to be like, you know, the little rust correct stuff. We need to import that. So now that's probably. Yeah, so this belongs under our render pipeline, which is around here. So, oh, cool. Good of us to have some cool render pipelines. Control-Alt-O. That's a little... You know what I think? I think it's time for a star here. So we'll just give that package a star and not worry about, you know, having to import stuff from it anymore. Well, great, so now we've got some color blend. And we are going to work on our blend descriptor. Uh, do, do, do. Source factor is blend. Ooh, blend factor. Uh, say here, one. And then we got here some sort of DST factor is to a Blend factor of one. Here we go. Now what? Now we have some sort of an operation. It's going to be equal to what? A blend. A blend operation. It's clicking all over the place. All right. Yeah. Ah. That's our color blend. Now we need some sort of an alpha blend. For, for our stuff, right? Which is another blend descriptor. Cool. So what do we need? We need some sort of a source factor for our blend. Hang on here. This is wrong. I was looking at alpha factor before and I should have been looking at something else. Right here should say source alpha. This factor should say one minus. One minus. What is this? Source alpha. There we go. And blend operation says add. Good for, for the operation there. Now for our source factor, we want the blend factor one. For the dest factor, we want blend factor one. For the operation, we want Blend operation add. After that, go. We could say right mask is color right all. All right. Woof. Woof. All right. Yeah, it helps if you set up your pipeline correctly. Yeah, then we can start seeing what our, you know, what an ugly mess we really have. Well, it's not crashing this time, so that's pretty good. 
I don't, uh, I don't see anything, do you? No? No. See nothing. Alright. That's fine. So. Wow. Alright. So, that's been a pretty fun road. Still having a, a completely black screen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's, uh, that's what this is about. We're just, uh, gonna figure some stuff and things out. What on earth did I do? What on earth did you do? I, 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 I don't know. I have a few suspicions. Right? Let's, um... That's for fun, call nothing, right? That's, uh... You know, if you're if you're calling stuff and you don't see anything and you expect it to see something, you could try not calling stuff to see if you see stuff now. All right? All right. So that's that's not so that wasn't the problem. We'll just we'll just leave it there for now, right? Uh we do return Alright, to pull mode. What is it? Back? Back. Something like that, right? Alright, great. So. But hey man, we got some color states going. We got a lot of stuff and things going. Alright. Now. Alright, so what do we do? Yeah. We have this sort of uh, box tiles, right? We got, we got our, where's our map go? Here we go. So, do we, do we even spawn a chunk? This is a good, this is a fair question to ask. Hello. Chunk. Spawn. Oh. Right, and we can work back from there to see what's going on. All right, so how's everyone doing? You having a good Thursday? Hit that, we're going to hit that play button. Nothing happens, of course. Again, because print lines don't fix problems. But yeah! Woo! Chunk. Chunk was spawned. Wow. Oh, I'm a little concerned over how many chunks were spawned. I don't feel as though there should have been that many chunks to spawn. I think that uh something happened. What happened? So we we did something wrong. There only ever should have been right. Wow! All right. New meshes should only ever can should only contain new meshes, which is a part of our changed map. All right? Yeah, only for each changed map. All right? Should we be going around saying anything? Right? How often are we pushing this, uh... Chunk meshes? chunks does our map have? Should just be the one, right? Yeah. Should only have the one chunk. A little confused. Why is this happening all of the time?
new meshes should only ever contain this key. If it's new, right? Yeah, because it's like for each changed map, right? So we're gonna be like, okay. Let's go ahead and we're gonna print uh we're gonna print Lynn What? Um map changed somehow, maybe. And I don't expect that to show up much. We'll see, but you know. Be inside of changed map spiders, right? Oh my gosh, why is the map always changing? That does not make any sense whatsoever. Find this macro print line. All right. Just like bangs after the uh, print lines. That's fine. Because we're going to make some stuff happen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nothing. No, no. That's fine. Modified. Dude, what on earth is even modifying this map? How does that make sense? How has this asset been modified? I don't know. So I'll tell you what. Once we know it's because of, of modification, we'll just we'll just ignore it. All right, All right. And then what? All right. So we still don't see anything, which is fine. But, uh, yeah, now there's a lot less stuff, right? We, we create it. We do the map changed. All right. Something something in here is changing the map. That's fine. And Because uh, once it doesn't do it anymore, it stops being weird, right? Then what? We do some modified stuff. Okay, so what on earth is changing our map asset? I'm not liking that our map asset is changing somehow. So, what, what did we do? What did we do? Well, we got a mutable version of our changed map. Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Alright, so we can change it some more, I guess. Oh my gosh. Does this have to be, like, mutable? Why do, why do we have a map? I don't think we're even... I don't think we're changing it. I didn't say get mute. There we go. Let's uh, see if that compiles. Right? So yeah. Remove mute, remove mute. Lots of things aren't mutable anymore, right? That's um... Yeah, we don't, we don't change, you don't change maps. Why would we change a map? That doesn't make any sense. As soon as we change the map, we have to redo the changes to our map. Gosh. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and hit Control 9 again. Well, I fixed a bunch of this stuff. I'm like, alright. So now we can, we can try putting this back, right? You hit Control 9. Blocking, waiting on build stuff. Okay, now we're compiling it yet again. Alright, sweet. Uh, so this will, this will fix it so that way it's not going through an infinite loop of just, like, changing it for no reason right that's sort of a thing we just we just want to get the map chunks we're not trying to change the map chunks here we just want to read them so there we go and hooray that's uh so we're doing less damage to ourselves and we can better reason about our program excellent so what are we what on earth are we doing 
All right, what do we what do we need to do? I'm a little concerned about our little vertexes here, and we're pushing little positions. It all seems fine and good. Now yeah, there are quite a few positions to be playing with. I guess what 32 by 32 of them. Sort of the idea. Hmm. We sort of just did what it said to do. And we're trying to make, and we're, and this is basically, these indices are supposed to be forming like a triangle strip or something, I think. We can see it down here, I think, right? Where we've got, um, inside of the mesh, we've got these indices. Yeah, triangle list. Triangle list. Right, because we go from... And this is for what? Yeah, so we have this list of triangles. I guess we plus for it every time. We're going through zero to chunk size. We're saying, yeah, just let this vertex be equal to like, whatever, man. Equal to whatever, man. Yes. Hmm. 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 Alright. Y as F thirty two. Let's try let's try that sort of a thing, okay? Where, yeah, we could just, we can come in here, we can comment that one out, and what now? We want like y plus one, right? Dot. Yeah, all right, so plus one dot. There we go. That's after y. And now we want them both to be plus, right? So what are we going to do? We're just going to say x. Right, as F32 plus one dot. Right, and then we're going to say Y. Y as an F32 plus one dot. Right? Yes, that is what we are doing. And then what? Now we can come in here and we can say X. X as F32. Plus one dot. And then what? We can say one as F32. No one dot. No one. Okay. That there looks pretty good. I don't think we, uh, we didn't get any runtime errors regarding our indices. So something about that must have made sense, right? right. Oof! A whole lot of nothing! <laughs> oh man, alright. Yeah. We are... I feel like we're pretty close, man. We're like on the verge of something. We're on the verge of something. At least don't, you don't know what yet. Right, I thought we were doing like, you know, we wanted to choose a tile. I feel felt like I thought we were gonna start off kind of like at zero zero, which I thought would have been like the top left. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's not really the top left. Hmm. Well, what is the top left? I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. If this isn't the top left, then it's like the bottom left.
Hmm. Right? If it's not the top left, then it's probably then it's the bottom. Let's see what this let's see what this has to say, if anything, right? Self U V N2 float two UVs. Alright, right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how these vertex attributes work. See if we uh, got something wrong there in terms of like Oof, what are we what are we doing? Alright, so what did our little loader do, right? What is our what do I want? I want this back up. I want to make sure that no one here is yelling at me. Alright. <laughs> Alright. What are we doing here? We got some of that going. We got our Twitch. Yeah, alright. So now, yeah, I was gonna go look back into the loader guy. Be like, yo, loader. Boss is loss. Alright, because I know he's doing some UV stuff. Oh, how, how are we playing with UV? Calculate a UV, right? Cool. So we have some sort of a sprite sheet X. Yeah, okay. Over texture width. Yes. All right, what about the V? Same thing. So that's exactly what I was doing, right? That says over texture height. Oh, it's over texture height. Yes. What does that mean? I don't know. So let's see here. We've got U and V, and I thought there was a W. Something weird, right? Something, something of the out. Yes. Yeah, see, he's got like this start U, start V, end U, end B. All right. And so, how do we get to the ends? Oh, uh, we add tile height to it. Ah. Our tile heights are 16. Yeah? But we're still kind of looking at... Yeah, we're looking at 16 over, what, 512? So, ultimately, we're still kind of looking at, like, in 16 times... Alright. So, 16... Times 32, right? Is equal to 512. Precisely. That's what we were that's what we're playing with here, right? 512. Our image size here should be yeah, 512 by 512. We have images here on the top left. There's a reason that I was like, yo, yeah, let's just use like zero corner to like this. Yeah, you know, I wanted to I wanted to go in here, right? How's that work? How's that work? So we need to figure something out, right? What are we figuring out? We, we may have something wrong with our UVs. We may, we may not. It's one of those things where we're like, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, uh, we have to verify it. All certainty. Got it right. As best as we can. Best as we can. Alright, so this right here starts off at zero, zero, which... Starting at U appears to be like, yeah, Sprite Sheet X. We want the zero index one, right? Over texture width. So zero over any number is what? Zero. Hooray, we win. So, and the same thing for start Y, right? Is Sprite Sheet Y over texture height. So let's double check. Yeah, and these are, and you add them to get more. So I think that this really does start in the top left. Right? And so then the higher numbers go go to the right and down. That's what we're, that's what we're playing with here. All right. So what's our chunk size? Our chunk size is 32. Right? Right. So we're only ever interested in getting the very top left tile. And that's it. Alright. So how did we do... 
Yeah, so he's got like some star. He's, oh, he did this like in a Vec 4. You just, you just start them all there. Fine, whatever. So where he's got start X, start Y, end X, end Y. Alright, so just to double check. When he says. So the very first one here that says XY, this guy here. He says UV.X, UV.Y. That's the starting X and starting Y. Correct. Okay. For the next one, this Y plus one, he says he wants the UVX again. Right, it's tile UVX, tile UVY. Wait. Now this one says W. W. Yeah. The X Y Z W. He wants ending Y for this one. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he wants the ending Y. Well, the ending Y is 1 over 32. And we should probably just get a, um... Uh, right, we should probably just get a thing for this, right? Yeah. Um... Right, so we could just, we could do the same thing that he did. Basically. Uh, right. So we can say something silly like, let... You... Be... Uh, yeah, so let u be equal to, like, a vec4, right, new. Nothing messing with things? That, that's what we do here, right? Vec4 new? Yeah, vec4 colon colon new. Alright, whatever, man. It's gonna, like, do stuff. Okay. Alright. So, zero... Zero. 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 This, this, these last two are not correct. They are not correct. Right? So, what are we going to do here? We're going to go with our, um, kind of int. Right? Our int. So, let, goodness, let end an F32, which is equal to what? You know, the stuff and things that we do. Um, yeah, one. Right? Over uh, the punk, punk size. As an F32, please. Alright. That's our int. Now we say end and int. Sweet. Now, hopefully, I should be able to, in my push stuff, I can say the weird things like UV dot what x All right u v dot x uh, right uh, u v dot y is that what we want u v dot y okay i got like documentation of stuff in there okay no. that's cool that's cool so we got some u v dot y only we don't want dot y here do we no we want w for some reason yes that's our x1. This right here is our xy plus 1. Okay. And this right here says to use x and y. Alright, so here we can just use x and y. So we're just going to copy this. Alright. Hit that guy. And this is going to say x and y. Okay. And now what? Now we're going to say... Now we're going to come in here... We're gonna, it's gonna keep pushing stuff, right? Right, so this is our plus one plus one, which is now Z and Y. Z and Y. Alright, we're gonna hope that that works. And now, now we have this X plus one, uh, Y, right? Where we want Z and W. All right, which makes sense. That's uh, those are the last ones, right? So we want Z and W. 
Now we can hit Control 9. Get that guy going. Our indices still look bueno. So yeah, I plus 0, I plus 2, right? I plus 1, I plus 0, I plus 3, I plus 2, right? And we give it our new mute indices, etc. And we can hit... And nothing, man. I don't see. I don't see nothing. I don't know where... Where it's going. Alright. We're like... I feel like we're on to something that we're getting close-ish. I think that we... I think that there were some slight discrepancies in how we were doing the UVs versus how they were. I believe that we've now basically, you know... It should be displaying the top left corner here now. It should be. Yeah, if it were displaying anything. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, what do we got here? We got some... Let mute mutt meshes. Mm hmm. All right. What about positions? We I think we looked at positions before, and we determined that we liked them kind of as the uh, numbers. Okay. As opposed to very tiny fractions. Uh, that this appeared to be this like this was supposed to be the correct step, right? So for positions, right? So it's like what? X, Y. Alright, but he's got like, you know XW and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how, where's where's all this XW stuff? Uh, all right. So for position, he, he was just like <laughs> vertex is zero for everything. Yeah, but position doesn't. Yeah. Like, right, because all of this here definitely does say vertex. I'm, uh, I'm looking over here for for everyone. All right. He pushes this tile vertex X, right? Which is funny, because it's like... Here are the vertexes. Oh, that's an empty tile. Look at that. Well, yeah. Alright. Assuming that it is not an empty tile. Yeah, start X, start Y, index, end Y. Right? So what type of thing is start X and start Y? Alright, um, hmm. Oof. Oof, okay. So here he's trying to build the map around a center, which we're not even trying to get to yet. Uh, to be, to be honest, right? We're just like, whatever, man, just show me something. That's all we want, right? But otherwise, yeah, we basically should just be looking at X and Y value. Right? Because we have, uh, so if I just do like this, tell me, tell me all about start X. Wow, okay, there it is, right? It, it depends on orientation, and et cetera, et cetera. We've got our start X and start Y, right? And X and Y. It's all kind of based on this sort of, uh, yeah, we're centering our tiles and everything else. We've got tile width and tile height. But, you know, according to how our camera works, um, you know, we're using game units. Our game units are 16 by 16, right? So we don't even need to worry about the width of our tiles. Uh, like at all. So that's kind of the idea there. Hmm... All right, so let's, um, I feel like this, this is pretty good, so let's double check, um, uh, like the top left really then should be like zero, zero, right? Right, zero, so for positions, right? We're looking basically, 
Yeah, so this starts off like zero, zero, and then what? We say plus one. Because right, that's the that's the size of our tiles. They are length one. Because they're 16 by 16. Now for all of our normals, right, they should all just be the same, I think. Right? Yeah. Zero zero one zero zero one. Alright, yeah, they're all they're all zero zero one. Alright. And all of our UVs now look consistent with the examples that were given. And then what? And you said what? If we didn't ask about positions at length at all. Nope. What did we do? We ended our for loop? Right? So we ended the for loop. Which now should have some chunk meshes. Right? Tell me we've got some chunk meshes. Let's, um, let's do a Printlin. Whoa! Printlin, print, line, one. Uh, what, what do we got here? We got some, uh, punk meshes. All right, now I want to know how many chunk meshes we got. So we might say chunk meshes dot, what is it, length? Hey man, give me some lengths. Alright, let's see let's see how many chunk meshes we have. Because uh, this should be under our new meshes, right? Where we go to insert our, you know, the, as the key, our changed map. And this right here is our chunk meshes. Oh, so we should be able to hit play. I'm out of here. One chunk mesh. Alright, good. Good. We only have one chunk, right? That's that's the type of stuff we want to see. So we got some print line. And we got what here? We have uh, a chunk of meshes, and this right here is a. Uh, I don't know. It's like I I have these chunk of meshes. Only one of them. This is like internal meshes, sub, right? Sub meshes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We want one of these, comma, right over here. And we could say what? Meshes dot. Don't mess with me, man. But you don't. Do you not have a length function? What is a meshes? It's a resmoot thing. Oh, great. Okay. Uh. Punk meshes dot length. I mean, that's what we did. I want a meshes. I add mesh. This is inside of our. This is per chunk, right? Right. Okay. Tell me about mesh. All right. That's uh. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, what's what's interesting about the mesh? What can we query here? We have some indices. We've got some attributes. Our primitive, you know, topologies. Right. What else? Into any into types. I don't know, man. Oh, I know that this guy here, this should be the magic right here, man. Why? Because what did we do? Because for every time, right, we're like, for all of the chunks, right, and zero to chunk size is always like, this is always 32. But that's not even a, that's not even a question, right? Uh, so it's always 32. And, it, and every time we're like, yeah, positions push. Alright, and we do this what? For every chunk. And we, we create a new mesh here. Using the same exact sort of mechanism this guy did, right? Or we're like, you know, our mesh is equal to a mesh. 
primitive topologies, triangle list. We are giving you an attribute of vex stuffs with our vertex attributes of position, normal, and UV. We then say indices sum, sum indices. And then we push it, All right? We push our mesh. Don't worry about a lot of this nonsense. We push the mesh. Is the is the point. Alright, cool. So um, hmm. There's some sort of weird static extensions TMX. Alright. Hmm. He loads an asset, he loads up a map, he gets some stuff and things. Our pipeline we already checked on. We check on it again, I guess, right? What do we have here? We've got build the stuff from the things. And now we, our, our one change from here is that we're not pulling at the moment to make sure that that's not the problem. Uh, let's see, where's our, where's our color? Here we go. Color states, color state descriptor. Yeah, the... So, so that's the format. Alright, and we have color blend. We go to our blend descriptor, starting with source factor, source alpha, one minus source alpha, and our alpha blend says one, one, and add. Right mask says color right all. Right? We have some sort of pipeline descriptor, which Really ought to be using our stuff well. I mean, it's not complaining about anything now, right? Yeah, it's like... Gotta be doing something, right? We, we gave it our color material texture. It says, if def, color material texture. So how do we... How do we know whether we've defed it? Right? Our color... Material texture. I don't know, man. It just says if it's defined, do the thing, right? That's pretty nutty. Um, yeah, let's just sort of come back out over here. Yeah, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna figure some stuff out, man. Hmm. Double check our lib. Yeah, let's, let's double check our lib. Let's double check our plugin to make sure that we're registering our plugin correctly. It's been a mo it's been a moment since we've looked at our looked at our plugin, right? So we've got a map. We we don't have an asset loader, but that's fine. We register our system here. Uh, app resources render graph get stuff do render graph render graph add the thing. With the resources. Alright, so what does what this do again? Alright, so that's going to be inside of our... This is, this is in our pipelines. Alright, so we can go back to our pipeline again, double checking. Oof, alright. Alright, so we've got our Vox tile chunk that we used in a couple of places, right? Alright, so we've got some sort of an Vox Final graph resources with a with our reference to resources. What else do we have? We have a Vox tile render graph builder for render graph. Hmm. Alright, so we have our gizmo here, a little function where we add stuff. System node. There's tile chunk. Box tile chunk. Do we need this sort of thing ever? I don't even know, man. You know what's funny is we stopped using it at some point. We were just like, I don't even know what this is. It's, not, it's never used it again. I might have, like, I might have shot myself somewhere by doing that. Let's see. Alright. I mean, it's, it's in here. You know, it's all about the 
add node edge tile you know tile map chunk and all sorts of these things right so let's just I don't know, we got some sort of box one? Let's see, yeah, so we want to look at this guy. These are our tile map chunk. Right? So if I come into map now, and I'm like, hey, tell me about your tile map chunk, please. Right? Uh, yeah, it's part of our chunk. It's part of chunk components. Right? So I'm like, yo, chunk components, what's up, man? That at Where's... there, right? Yeah, now we can uh, you can all enter there. Whoa, what just happened? I don't even know. All I did was I came in here, alt enter, import, yes, please. Thank you. Now, what? Pluses, yes, and that is some sort of a default chunk, right? And now, so at some point we make a chunk component, so if we do anything with chunk, I guess we, we give it the layer ID, but do we care? No. Alright, alright. I, I don't even know, man. Figure out what's going on with this stuff. All right, and still nothing. A little upsetting. All right, that's fine. Let's keep going. So we have what maps? Oh, you think there'd be something somewhere? Um, We were looking at you before, pipeline, we are looking at you before, right, pipeline? We've got some sort of weird, um, add a tile map graph. Here my pipeline go, here we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. So let me add, let me add this add node edge of our Vox tile chunk, right, to our main pass. I did that, and then what? We said, uh, yeah, we got we got our pipelines here. Resources get mute assets pipeline descriptor looks good. Faders, resources get mute assets fader. We said pipelines set our Vox tile pipeline handle with our build Vox pipeline. Let me return self. Yeah, all right. No idea. Yeah, I'm just getting. I thought you're supposed to. You're supposed to give me a caffeinated beverage. I'm all. I'm all. I'm all sound sleepy. All right. I don't know. I could use a nap. It's gonna be about that time when I normally do take one. I guess. We're not, we're not quite there yet, but I feel like we're so close. So close. And... Yes. Prime. Right. I'll look at an example real quick of ortho main. Spawns of tile to map components. Alright. Uh, Alright. Then what? Camera 2D components default. We have our own camera 2D components. We've got our tile map plugin. Got some sort of a setup system. Got a camera movement system. Um, all right, that's. Oh no, we know what I got. People trying to break break down in my room. Coming for me. Oh, like I always knew they would. Oh man. Okay.
So, what are you doing, man? Alright, what am I doing? We got some things. We got some things. What type of things do we got? I don't know, man. All the things. I just don't get it, man. Any about color material ever? Like this here doesn't even make it. Right? I don't think we're doing anything too crazy in here. His map has. Um, Wolfborn is finally back. I was talking to. I was, I was telling you about all sorts of things. You don't, you don't even know, man. I think about all of the stuff and things. I don't know how I'm super young. About how the caffeine hasn't been working. I'm very, very sleepy right now. But then this is normally the time when I do go to. Line of feet. Ah. Crazy. I don't know nothing about no up store. Asset loader. I don't even know asset loader. What was I looking at? Yeah, their map has meshes in it. Mine does not. That's part of what their that's part of their load process, right? Yeah, that's part of their loading process. I'm not trying to like load up a map. Yeah, their map has layers, it's got all sorts of stuff. All right, what does my map have? Ugh. File size. My map even used anywhere? Yep, it's used uh, here when we make one. It's given probably to this guy here. Alright, we've got some sort of a map asset. Alright. Alright, and then what? Got uh, we've got some maps here. This is inside of our main. We're like, tell me about all those maps you've got. All right, so we yeah, so we added it to our resource guy, so we could get a map handle. All right, so we could give it to our map component. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I thought we did something or other. Saying we wanted some sort of origin transform, right? 
But we were happy with that being a zero zero. Yeah. Maybe that being zero zero. Alright. There we're adding our assets there. And do some processing on maps. And we get a map handle. And we have some sort of map asset reader, right? Right. Alright, but here's what's funny, right? Pretty sure if I go up to like find usages. So sorry about all your usages. So it gets set once. <laughs> right? Alright. Alright, so find usages. And it gets set once. Alright. Find usages. Alright, we do at least use map.chunks. So that's like oof, alright. Ugh, this thing is making me go nuts. Alright. And here we, we create our meshes, and we insert our meshes into a, a new meshes thing. Yeah. How do we render the mesh? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. So, but seriously though. Um, like, what are we doing, man? How do we how do we render this how do we render these meshes? <laughs> um, I don't even know. It's like some sort of weird asset thing. Yeah. How, how do we know how to render a map? Well, it should have been like in the pipeline or something, right? Or it was like. Yeah, we're all like, you know, add, add box tile graph, right? We give it the resources, we add node edge, and we have box tile chunk. And that's part of the main pass. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure what box tile chunk is supposed to, oh, what is this? What are we doing? I don't even know, man. We build and we build the Vox tile pipeline, which we know is definitely getting called. This is getting called. We know it because when we didn't have color states, there was a big problem. Okay. So all this stuff is getting called. Hmm. From GLSL, etc., etc. This should all be good. Oh man. Alright, we have a bunch of meshes. Yeah. And we put our meshes somewhere. Well, first off, we're spawning these entities. We're spawning these chunk component entities. Right? Yeah. Spawning a chunk component entity. We're gonna, we're gonna spawn a chunk component entity. And it's got it's got all these things. It's got a it's got a chunk, which is, means what? I don't know. It's, it seems pretty meaningless. But we have a chunk, right? And we have a we have a material. All right, that's all main pass, etc. Right? So it's like do anything more than like what I told it to do. Um, what did we tell it to do? I don't know. This is uh, we want to go to map RS. We want to check out our thing here, right? When we're spawning entities, right? We're supposed to we're supposed to spawn. And I think whenever we whenever we run it, it does it, right? We hit run. Look at it. see, it wasn't the top left that time. I win. So chunk spawned. All right. And then what? Let's see, uh, him. 
Do you even vim? Sometimes. Sometimes I vim. Sorry, it took me a moment to see your message. Hope you're still with us. I, I do use vim sometimes, but today I'm not. I'm, I'm using IntelliJ. Let's see. Okay, cool. Oh, good to have you. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, getting your typical graphical programming sort of error of uh, the blank screen. <laughs> uh, well, you can have the plugin. Yes, I, uh, I could. I, I guess I choose not to. If I'm not actually using Vim, then I guess I don't I don't care for having it. Uh, I, I do have a friend of mine who like he, he uses the Vim plugins and everything everywhere. It seems like and yeah, that's what they do. So you know, but I'm I'm good. I'm uh I'm just trying to trying to make my chunk render. I don't know why it's not render. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, I got I got a friend who yeah uses the Vim stuff everywhere, and uh, you know I can I can use Vim. I'm reasonable. I'm okay at it compared to some Vim masters. Not uh, they would they would say no, you, you are terrible at Vim. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I can I can get around. Yeah. Let's see. I use Vim in the browser as well. Wow, that that's talent. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin using Vim in the browser. You're trying to spell out your text fields and stuff, with, and you have to <laughs> use like you know I to insert. That's pretty funny. Uh... <laughs> All right, yeah. So I've got I got some chunks. I don't know, man. That's um. Uh... Did I pass it? Okay, so that doesn't matter. It's gonna do some default chunk thing anyways. Let's just part of some layer ID. I don't even I don't even need anything else in there. Alright, so then I've got material. That's from our material handle.clone, so I did do that. Yeah, Vimium. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see here. Mesh, mesh clone. That all looks good. Transform. Transform looks like it should be good. Yes, thank you indeed for the follow. Hey, man. 43. Just. Man. We're now spawn an entity per chunk, and that's what we did. So, and we, and we definitely checked it. We spawned our chunk. So what sort of I don't know, man. What sort of transform did we give it? I feel like, what was, what was our default transform, right? What was our default transform? Yeah, just the default. Which is fine. See you, time to sleep. 1.50 a.m. here. Ah! Wow, yeah. It's, uh, wow. You're, uh, you're quite a ways east of me. <laughs> well, good night to you, then. Uh, good to meet you. Right. Damn. transform I gave it then inside of this query when I did the main right that's what should be happening uh yeah started getting back into my own head for a moment you need to get back into yes external we'll be talking about what we were doing sort of a mode all right so what what sort of transform did I give it any sort of transform just wherever the default one was right yeah okay that should be origin. That's our that's our transform. At least we use it and stuff. All right, we throw it in there. Chunk spawned. And it has a, it has a mesh. And it's got all sorts of stuff. Thanks. 
And this is this is what we're really trying to render, right? Is these chunk components. Hmm. All right. That's more or less what this guy did here, right? And this, yeah, and our chunk component, he has a mesh. Right. He has a mesh. Now, if I go, if I come back up in here to tell me about our chunk components, right? He's got got some weird stuff and things. Oh, all sorts of stuff going. All right. All right, we've got a, we've got main pass. We got some other stuff. Bubble transform. Yeah, he's he's got all sorts of he's got all sorts of stuff. I right. We got chunk main pass material, right? Which is a handle to our color material. All right, we've got a render pipeline, yeah, which takes in render pipelines. Got a draw, draw, a mesh handle to a mesh, which we should have a handle to a real mesh. Did we not? We should. We've got transform and the other stuff. All right, let's double check that. Like, no, really, we've, we've got a handle to a mesh, right? Yeah, here's our mesh. Like, what? We cloned it? Sure, right? Because why? What is mesh here? This is a mesh handle, right? So if I said, just to be sure here, this is an HMDL. Right. So there's our. So there's that. And how did we get ourselves this mesh handle? Well, it came from mesh list. Wow, tell me all about mesh list. Well, it's our new meshes. But we get a mutable map handle. New meshes. So this right here is a map. Right? Between our map and our mesh. So it should be like oh a vector meshes even right yeah that's why we have new meshes right? so our mesh list we're saying now for each list each of these meshes spawn a chunk this is what should ultimately be being rendered Right? So if we said, what is, what is chunk? That's some sort of a Vox tile chunk. Uh, right? It's like, oh man, give me some chunk. Right. We have our material. We have our mech. We have our transform. This seems like the perfect sort of thing to be rendering it. I don't recall any weirdnesses with doing inside of here inside of his examples what did he do he said ortho main he just used like some default camera right yeah on 2d camera components like okay so for funsies right oh we can, we can get rid of this guy, I guess, right? I don't know why I'd want to even try this. There, there we go. Spawn camera to D components default. Just to make sure it's not our camera that's messing us up, right? Gotta make sure it's not messing us up somehow. Hmm. Right, getting something or rather. Nice, Bevy. Indeed, Derp King. Uh, how's it going? Good to meet you. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to get some Bevy stuff rocking and rolling. I'm having a hard time with my custom asset that I'm making. Oh, but also, ooh, check it out. We've got Defensk. Hello to you, Stefansk. Right? Stefis. 
A fizzy. I don't know, man. <laughs> Doing my best. Yeah, so even even the default camera here did not for the example I'm seeing. It didn't help out either. I didn't think it would. Just Steffi! Okay, good to know, Steffi. I'm, uh, yes, I'm doing okay, just trying to get my default sort of tile, or, you know, my custom tile renderer to render tiles. Yeah, and it is not going easy. It's not going easy at all. All right, but it's, uh, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this stuff out. All right, I've got my I've got my maps. I don't even know if I needed tile size or anything, man. I'm just sort of. I don't even think I needed this guy. Man, we're just sort of. I know that we're getting in here. I know that this chunk is being spawned. I know that, you know, this mesh here should have some good stuff in it. Uh, at least it appears like it should. Right, so if I go to, here's my mesh. But as I go to make the mesh, I could be like, um, yo, know, how many positions do I have, right? Print line, uh, right? It's clicking all over the place. All right, so we want to take a look at what? Num, this sort of a thing. Go, get that guy up in there, and then we can say what? Positions dot black. Alright. There we go. Control 9 there. Do I know C language? Um, kind of. I'm not proficient at modern C, I don't think. Uh, you know. Many years ago, back when I was going to school, <laughs> I, I taught C, and I did well enough in it to clap out of some college courses, even. But, uh, uh it's been... It's been too long. Too many years. Alright. And look at, look at that numb position. Wow, that's about what I expected, I think. Right? That should be, yeah, that's 4K, 1024 times 4... That, those, that's the exact sort of number of positions I was expecting. Just wondering if uh, I can help you with something. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you know, lay it on me. Um, I, uh, I'm i definitely not familiar with a lot of the newer standards and things. I mostly have professionally have programmed in Java, Scala, you know, HTML5, JavaScript, you know, CSS, all those things, right? Lots of the lots of the web tech stuff. But yeah, lay it on me. See what see what we got. A match. Which is doing everything that I thought we said we would do. X is F32, Y is F32. We don't do any transforms, so I'm not like double breaking it. Right? That would be that would be silly, but I do not do that. Everything should just be based on X and Y. Um, push. Uh, let me W. Got going from here. I don't know, man. All right, I'm just going to be having fun coding and trying to sort float numbers. So, for example, input pizza name price float, pizza name price float, pizza 
I'll put pizza name lowest price flow pizza name lower. Yep, got it. So price, yep. If price is same, sort by name of pizza in all of its structure. Ooh, so it's like a, you got a couple sorts going on there. All right, sure. So yeah, you could like, um, I'm not even, I'm not even sure what libraries are available in C for helping out with that sort of thing. I know that, you know, as part of computer science class, I would implement a wide variety of sorts to try to make that happen, right? So that's kind of a... Yeah, so char, char name, char array, not a char star, probably. Let's see. I thought that, uh, yeah, strings in C would have been char stars. Care stars, depending on how you like to pronounce it. As care is short for character, right? Uh, what that is. Yeah. So, uh, it's been a long time since I've done a lot of my own sorting stuff. Normally I just allow the libraries and stuff to do things for me. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, so you could look up things like bubble sort, I guess, right? If you want a simple sort to do. And, uh... Right, looks like you just have a simple struct, right? So you just implement some sort of like a bubble sort. See? Looks like this guy just has uh, an array of integers, right? Got some size of stuff and some other things. He does a uh, bubble sort. So I'm not I'm not super familiar enough with C. Yeah, I'm a, I'm more of a software engineer, I think, than uh, these days a hardcore, super low level programmer. I prefer to use libraries that have this sort of thing defined for me already. Yeah, I did enough of this stuff in school. <laughs> sort of thing, right? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I just I just look at things like bubble sorts. Yeah, there's there's are all sorts of sorts, right? Bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort, heap sort. <laughs> so you can uh, yeah. And all I did was Google bubble sort and see, and isn't that just for numbers? I don't know. Oh, you wanna you wanted to also sort strings, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, well, a character basically is just a number, right? Uh, I don't see the difference. I I bet you'd be surprised. Let's see. So, yeah, you could basically what? You can either assume that you won't you don't have any empty uh character arrays, right? Let's see, but is it gonna sort float numbers or just int numbers? Well you have to write your own, right? So you'd replace So you'd replace this with whatever the array of the stuff that you have is. So it sounds to me like you'd have an array filled with your struct. Right, called foods. Right, so you'd have an array of foods, and so you'd bubble sort that. The, the, so then you re, so you replace, you know, this right. So it'd be like foods array. Uh, what's what is in? I don't know. N is size of R versus size of R zero. Mm hmm. So, so that's just one type of sort, right? Yeah, there's, there's insertion sorts, there's merge sorts. Right? You got like some sort of array of stuff. They got a wide variety of uh, little samples for this in, uh, in a few languages, right? If you really wanted to do it. 
Uh, let's see. Binary search, jump search. Yeah. So, you yeah. know. I don't know, man. These days they use functional programming languages. So, like, if I do, like, Scala, I do a sort. I might have a case class, and inside my case class I'd have a number, and I'd have a, a character array, right? Or, or, or I'd have a string. Right? And I would just, I want to sort a sequence, please. So I could just do, like, sorted. <laughs> I win. Because like, cause I said dot sorted, and that's how you do it. Dot sorted, I win. Yeah, and so you could, oh, but I, I want to sort with a particular thing. Okay, great, then, then do a sort with, and then figure out which is less than which, right? <laughs> or sort with, I don't figure out which is greater than which, right? So your, your sort with is this one, because you wanted it to go into, you know, from smallest order to greater order. And then, <laughs> this, this is the type of stuff I do, man. Oh, look, it, we'll, we'll sort by lengths. <laughs> you just you so you just you know put inside your sort with function whatever it is you wanted to sort with. Now you can write your own special function like this, right? And you say sort with, and you pass it in. Oh, done. Super easy. Fairly inconvenience, right? I don't know. Yeah. So. That's what I'm programming C, man. <laughs> well, I haven't since I was in school. Give me some libraries to take care of this stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, MZTE. How's it going? It's been a couple days. Right. Got a. I ran out of beverage. Ran out of some beverage, though. Could use some more beverage. Man, and I am. I am sleepy, actually. I've been, uh, I've been streaming here now. Since the, uh, since the AM. Rather than going to work. What else have I been doing? A variety of things. Yes. So, I had lunch, like, three hours ago. More than that. Three and a half hours ago? Man, I'm getting sleepy. And uh, I'm not I'm not making any further progress with my sleepy brain. I'm trying to figure out how to get these tunnels to render. Even though I feel like I should have done just about everything that one could have done to get them to render. So uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure what's going on there. We've got, uh, you know, we even, we even have, like, a little print line statements now to, like, check where we're making it to in the code. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I've got some, i got some primitive topologies. I've got my camera set up. I've got all sorts of stuff and things set up, ready to go. Oof, but I am not, uh... Yeah, I'm not, uh... Doesn't appear to be rendering nothing yet. Wondering what is going on. So I, you know, I spawn a chunk component, huh? Which is, um, yeah. Yeah, this guy didn't do anything special in his main, it doesn't look like. It felt like we did everything else. Alright, we have a render graph set up. We even add our tile map graph. System. What's that about? I don't know. Well, I, I think we need to look into that. Figure out what on earth is this? What is going on? So, 
Yeah, let's go to our uh, let's go to our pipeline. Is that where we're at? Yes, pipeline. We go to pipeline. And we could say what? What are we saying? Hmm. Sleepiness, right? Yeah, sleepiness. All right. We have this box tile chunk. It shouldn't be anything that interesting, right? It's just a component, I guess. Vox tile chunk. Hmm. I don't know, he says Vox Tile Chunk. Boom. This is like some key? Maybe, but still. I mean we got it. We have we have Vox Tile Chunks. We use them. Find usages. Oh yeah, just give me the next one. Next. Yeah, see? There we go. Inside of our chunk components. We have a Vox Tile Chunk. Yeah, and save of our Chunk Components, we have that. This has been, yeah, Chunk Spawned. Yep, we use that. Anyway, so this is, this is like our special magic string for our Vox Tile Chunk. Ooh. That's uh, that's pretty cool, Lord MZTE. Uh, having learned the uh, proce uh, procedure macros and stuff, yes, I imagine they are quite fun. I've been uh, it's one of those things that I mean to do. But, uh, yeah, because it definitely seems like you know a lot of fun. I know that uh, what was it? Someone's been working on that, Mr. Halsey. Mr. Halsey's been working on that for some time now seems like was with the, with the uh, procedure macros and whatnot that's uh that, that is very good it's very useful to know and to get things going with all right let's see oh man i've been working on this all day i'm still just getting black windows um i think maybe i need to take a break look i I did, all, I, did, I did the things, man. I did the things. What do you want? Add to the main pass? Unwrap. Add node edge. Owl chunk. Alright. Add node main Pipelines. We added on our pipeline descriptor. This is uh, yeah, All right. This right here is it though, right? So we set it here. What do we set? We set some sort of pipeline handle. Pipeline handle, huh? Where else do we use that? Anywhere? Uh, let's view some references for that, right? Ooh, check it out. So this right here says Render Pipeline Specialized Box Tile Pipeline Handle. And this is... Yeah, this is inside of our chunk components right here. So we have one of these box tile chunks. We have... And draw stuff and some other things. We have render pipelines from pipelines and we give it our specialized one with our Vox tile pipeline handle. All right. So what is, what is this? Oh, that's that, that's that crazy handle. Like we we're, we weren't even sure what to do with it. <laughs> All right, we're just like, yeah, there's some numbers and stuff. All right. Uh, so that's part of our defaulty gizmo here, right? This is inside of default for chunk components. It should be inside of our map. 
All right, so we've got some sort of default for chunk components. And that includes this render pipeline. Yep, here it is, specialized. Here's our box pipeline handle. All right. And go ahead and come back down. We did it. We registered it with this gun. And we build it here. Right? And this we know that this works because again without the color states it was a uh, it was throwing an error. With the color states is half. So it must be getting in here. And it must be doing what we told told it to do. And we told it to stop culling anything to make sure that you know that wasn't the reason for not seeing stuff. Uh, what else? What else are we doing? Oh yeah, I can't think. All right. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, nap time for me. <laughs> I just need to. Yeah, I've been I've been going on this all day. My plan is to take a nap, get some dinner, do that sort of stuff and things. Get back in here, uh, maybe around. I don't know. Three hours at most. I'm thinking, and uh, I'll be back on, ready to go, getting some stuff and things done. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what on earth is uh, preventing our mesh, our, our custom renderer from, you know, providing us with custom rendered tiles. Uh, maybe I need to go look into some bevy source code and whatnot. Uh, figure out what's going on. You know. Uh. All right, so uh, it's been uh, it's been good streaming with you guys today. Been good hanging out. Thank you guys for the follows and the raids and uh, everything else. Uh, I will uh, see you guys later. All right, so yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Here we go.